So the claim is that there is no rational number, no fraction, whose square equals 2. And so we're going to try to prove this as follows. Um, suppose there was. Suppose we had a fraction, let's say p over q, which, when squared, equal 2. Now let's assume that we've already reduced the fraction p over q. So p over q, p and q are whole numbers, they're integers, right? That's a fraction. Um, and we've already reduced p and q, meaning we've already taken out any common factors. Okay, and this is a proof by contradiction. We're going to show that having a f such a fraction squared equaling 2 is impossible because we're going to assume that if we had it, something not possible will happen. And in fact, what we're going to end up contradicting is this idea that they have no common factors. We're going to assume that they actually must have a common factor. P and Q must have a common factor. So let's see that. So we have p over q squared equals 2. We can, of course, say that p squared over q squared equals 2, which implies that p squared is 2 times q squared. Now, what that says is that p squared is an even number, right, because it's 2 times something. Now, it's a common fact that if a number squared is even, then the number had to be even. So we now know that p has to be even. So that means p is 2 times something. Let's call that something k. We don't know exactly what k is, but it's some integer. And so now we have 2k squared equals 2q squared. All right, let me flip to the next page. So here we have 2k squared equals 2q squared. All right, so that means if I square that out, 4k squared equals 2q squared, which means 2k squared equals q squared. So now we know q squared is even. And again, that implies that Q is even. So, what have we figured out? We figured out that both P and Q are even. Meaning, what? It means they both have a factor of 2. inside them, which contra contradicts the fact that they were supposed to not have a common factor, that the fraction p over q was supposed to be reduced already. And so that's the contradiction. Anytime you have a fraction p over q whose square is 2, it would force p and q to both have factors of 2 in them. And that can't always be true. I mean, if it started out being true, you could take out those factors of 2. You could cancel those factors of 2. And even if there was more than one factor of 2 in the P and in the Q, you could cancel all the common 2s in both of them. But this argument would still force there to be yet another one. And so that can't be. It can't be that you have an infinite number of 2s in both your P and your Q. So that proves that there can't be a fraction, a rational number whose square is equal to 2. There is no rational square root of 2.